Hello. Okay, I totally was not planning on doing that video today, but sometimes when you're feeling it, you gotta do it, right? I have a little bit of a rant. Um, there, I don't know, how do you guys feel about like supporting businesses who you don't really like, I don't know, agree with who they are or their moral ethics? Like, would you still support them? Lately, I feel like I've been running into a lot of business owners that just are terrible at what they do or maybe like the way that they treat their customers are terrible they don't get back to you they do half a job um there's a lot of different things but like okay there's this one specific thing that's on my mind and it is this a fashion blogger who she has her own clothing line and i totally liked her like i thought she was classy and I don't know, I just, I've, I've been following her for years. But she posted a video about how she was gonna go outside and do some gardening, but there was a snake, and so she wouldn't go out there until her husband chopped it in half. And he did. And I'm sorry, if you know anything about me, I freaking love animals, like, they're right up there with people to me, and I know that that bothers some people, but I don't really care. Like. We are tiny too on this earth and we do more damage than any animal. So, um, but yeah, so they just, they killed a gardener snake just because, just because it was like near their plants. I just, I don't know. That's so obnoxious to me. So like, I'm like, oh, that sucks that she did that. Like, I, I don't like her anymore. And like, I just tried so hard to like keep liking her. I'm going to have to unfollow her honestly because her stuff comes up and I'm like, you freaking like you're such a brat like you think you could just kill anything and to me her killing that snake ties in with like other things she's just entitled and thinks she can just do whatever she wants to innocent little animals in her yard i don't know that like seriously takes away from like her class and femininity to me like i don't know i just think that's so i can't even think of a word for it it's just repulsive it's just yuck Anyways, I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know if you've ever like maybe supported a business or something and then kind of found out who they are as a business owner and you no longer wanted to support them. I mean, it's important to take into account that we're all human, you know, and I don't like to judge. I just, I mean, that specific fashion blogger, she doesn't have any pets, so she clearly doesn't care for animals. Um... I don't know, it's just disgusting to me. But recently, I, there was something I wanted to bring up about a business. What was it that they did? Ugh, I'm going to have to think about that. I don't know. Anyways, that fashion blogger just keeps popping up on my Instagram, and I don't think I would ever buy a name for clothing, no matter how cute it was. I just I don't care that much about stuff to support someone who... I don't know who's like that. Is that weird? Maybe that's crazy that that turns me off that bad. But that's just who I am. Like, I love animals, and even like during my single times when I was dating, I had a client that wanted to hook me up with someone that she knew. And um, in the first few messages, I let him know I'm like, I hate hunting, I don't love sports. And he was like, I love hunting and I love sports <laughs> and like we never talked again like we're like you know I mean of course I would never want to like force anyone to be something different than they are but like yeah that was done and done like in just within a couple of messages because that is just a no-go for me the hunting thing I think it's totally disgusting I had a neighbor that would like hang the deer in his garage and let it bleed out and stuff and I just remember that as a kid and I remember thinking that was totally terrifying and running home crying that was totally scarring. So, I don't know if that shaped my views. I think I've just always been an animal lover since I was young. So, it's just totally disgusting to me. And I would never just, like, kill something for no freaking reason. Like, if it was, like, a rattlesnake and you were hiking, I could see why you'd want to, like, make sure that you don't... Yeah, you might have to kill a rattlesnake or something. But a gardener snake? Come on. Like, oh my gosh. I, yeah, there's some, ugh, I can't even finish that sentence because it, like, pisses me off so bad. Um, oh my gosh, I really need to think of who that company was that did, what 
do they do shady? Mm. I, I feel like I run into other business owners daily that are just doing a terrible job. Like they don't care if they earn your business. Oh, mm. that's what it was. So I've been wanting to like sign up for some new exercise classes. And so I was going to do like a little trial period with Orange Theory. I guess I probably shouldn't have said their name. Oops. Um, and so I called them. I scheduled it. They needed my card on file, which was kind of odd um, for a trial run. I thought it was odd. Um, and they told me to be 15 minutes early. The class was at 4.15. I got there, literally walked in the doors at 4 o'clock. Like I was, I'm a timely person. When I walked in, there was a line. So I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't like get me in trouble at all by like half an away in this line and it'll be a little bit later. By the time I get to the front desk, it's 4.03. And the girl was like, yep, sorry, we can't take you. I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you can't do the class. And I'm like, can't I fill out the paperwork afterwards? Like I was in your doors at four o'clock. She's like, yeah, but three minutes passed. Like we're really strict about it. No. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I totally cut my work day short. Ran home, took care of all my dogs, ate something really quick, got my gym clothes on. Like, like it took time to try to prep and cut my work day off to get there, you know? Um, and she, I, I was like, can I fill out the paperwork afterwards? And she's like, well, we have to show you like the machines and kind of what the class is about. And I'm like, Dude, I've been to so many workout classes and I've never had to have somebody like run through like how this workout class is going to work. Like, duh. It's like self-explanatory. There's going to be a, a teacher, an instructor in front like showing you everything. Like doing the exercise and you just mimic it. It's so simple. So, um, anyways, nope. The answer was no. She's like, want to schedule? And I'm like, no. Like, I cut my work day off to be here. I got here the 15 minutes that you required, but because there's a line, now I'm like penalized. How annoying. And she really was trying to get me to reschedule. I'm like, no, I can't handle coming back in and having you do this again. So anyways, that just like totally turned me off. I was just like, I couldn't even believe it. Especially since I was still early. Like my lash clients show up late all the time so anything after 15 minutes late then we'll try to cancel the appointment but if they've walked in like i was there like we'll try to do what we can do to work with them but like <clears throat> we just can't handle people being too late i mean it's like a hair appointment nail appointment you can't be crazy late it pushes everything back um but that just did not make sense to me at all and i was like i can't be the only one that, that has to like totally annoy you know they probably turn down people all the time because I was still early um and people are late all the time so yeah that was crazy but I don't know I'm just shocked that certain businesses can run like a lot of people just act like they don't even care to run your business Yeah. I was just having some of these thoughts this morning. I had a little bit of time to kill, and I'm like, I need to make a video about that. But just decided I'll do it while I'm feeling it, right? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Have you ever had, like, a certain business, just their moral ethics? They just don't align with yours. You just don't get it. It's like, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would not take a client that's early or it's just totally bizarre and I've had other people that just like don't even answer or return your call over and over and over like contractors when I was doing like all the construction to my business that was so difficult just to get people to show up to do the job so anyways something to think about I guess almost to the end of the week today's Thursday my last work day will be Friday oh my god 
gosh, lately, yeah, Saturday, I'm going to have a full day of silversmithing class. I've been doing some silversmithing classes, which has been super fun. So stay tuned because I've been wanting to get into jewelry and like make certain pieces and sell them like certain unique things. So anyways, stay tuned. That all being said, sorry, I feel like that was kind of negative, but it was a rant and I think we all kind of feel that way sometimes. Um, I do think it's important to, hold on. <laughs> I think it's important to support local. So that all being said, like I'm always looking for new businesses to like just go and try out. That's why I was trying to like look at gym classes and stuff. They're not local, like they're a freaking franchise, but I've been looking at like certain local Pilates classes and things like that because like I just think it's fun. I think it's fun to like see what other business ideas people have had and that they've made it successful and or that they're even just trying maybe it's not successful yet whatever that means you know but um that's something that i love about up here in salt lake is that there's a ton of local business and i love to support local and more often than not like they do a good job and they're trying just like freaking you and I, right? Like I try my freaking very best to run my business. Like it is my baby. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to comment on that. Like if you can support local versus franchise, um, sometimes it's hard when it comes to workout classes. I've noticed like I do like core power yoga and that one is a franchise. Um, but yeah, just like, I think it's important that that business rubs you right, you know, like that they run their business in a way that makes sense to you too, and that they're good people that you can see that they're trying. I don't know, but I love that. I love when I find like random little hole in the wall bars or little jewelry shops or whatever. Speaking of that, um, next month, is it next month? Yeah, next month I'm going to go to LA. I... I've never really hung out in LA. I don't really know what's fun out there or anything. My hair is just bothering me. This looks like crap. Um, I don't really know what there is to like do out there. I just know that I feel like I've met a ton of people that go out there and open up a business. Like just a lot of young entrepreneurs. They always talk about living in LA. So anyways, my goal other than shopping a little bit is to like I don't know, try to find like an area where they have all their little local businesses and where those entrepreneurs have chosen to try to open up a storefront of some kind. So I don't know, hopefully it doesn't let me down. I don't know, I've never, I'm assuming that they have like a lot of restaurants and entertainment and things like that. Um, I wanna try like a workout class while I'm out there. And then I just wanna see like what ideas other young entrepreneurs have come up with, maybe like a boutique or something, I don't know. I don't know. So if anybody has any recommendations on that, please let me know. I'm going to LA blindly with a girlfriend. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and listening to this obnoxious video today. <laughs>